Mama vana sema Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV dia osia dem yopo. Abusia eya obura um Kwasi Pat Junior. Awo ye sam for pinini edema the insight newspaper. Or the abetu dra. Na sem ni na ne se na o man pinini na kufa do. Dia ne hano. O ye boko dia. Boko dia na Saa semu wa wakofa ba yi koka ye Dr. Kwame Nkrumah semu wa dina hodi ye. O ni mnyoka. Ah, na saa mre yi na ube koka koka Dr. Kwame Nkrumah semu na ube kana asi mpua. O koka asamu wa ye di hun komo e wye asi like ya 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 si hun puma si bre ya nya hun spun like we have concluded ya nyanti asi ye wye na obi am move on no afi na ho kwa kwa sa debate na ba be kire say Kwame Nkrumah is not the founder of this country ah na dia empa na o man penyin abusua kwa ke kabi yen ko eye metro tv so yen ko ti wo bra na oni randi abi etwetwe enkomo e wo good morning gana so en hu sentia eye kwasi part na o ka ne nsam no aha eye pen dream message so be subscribe to the channel mr opa subscribe my na like video no na share at to other platforms mo munya bi enhwe wo hwe na na wo kire wa dwe o comment section no ase e dia ma ye nko na ye nko hwe emra sisi ya ozi um will this apostrophe nonsense ever stop but randy it has to stop you know i'm i'm really amazed you know that a debate like this will be started at this time, you know, of our national life. But everything is going haywire. And I was wondering what the president was seeking to profit, you know, from, from starting such a needless, you know, debate. Right now, what is the point? Nkrumah was not the founder of Ghana, and so what? How does that affect the rate of inflation? How does that affect escalating prices? How does that affect anything? And to think that it is the president who initiates this debate is extremely worrying. You know, there's so many things that the president should focus on. And rather than focus on those things, his focus is on who is the founder of Ghana. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, these matters have been settled by the, the historical record. They've been settled by our practice, they've been settled everywhere. So why ignite this debate? You know, what is the basis of this? And this whole argument that, uh, you know, Nkrumah is not the only founder, no nation can be founded by one person and so on. By extension, where would it end? Are we going back to the Aborigines Rights Protection Society? Are we going back to, to, to the heroes and sheroes who fought against the transatlantic slave trade? Are we back to the days of Yara when she fought to preserve slave roots for Ashanti and so on? Where, where does it end? Where does it stop? If everybody who made a contribution to the national independence struggle is going to be recognized, where would it stop? Understand? In any case, it is significant now, when you talk about the, the big six, it excludes Pi Grant. That exclusion is lost on, on the president. You understand? This big six, where is Pi Grant in the big six? The original promoter of the United Ghana Go, United Gold Coast Convention is, is missing from the big six. And yet he finds nothing wrong with that. And then, in any case, the historical record teaches us that this whole concept of the big things is a testimony to the intelligence failure of the British colonialists. The intelligence collapsed completely. Because all of them, except Nkrumah, denied involvement in the route that led to the arrest. All of them. And indeed, if their denials are true, then there was a huge intelligence failure on the part of the British. And the big six should ought to be, should or ought to be, a celebration of the intelligence failure of the colonial administration at that time. I think this whole debate is completely needless, useless, you know, and we should stop it, you know. 
apart from the fact hmm, that it devalues some of the essential features of our nationhood and sovereignty. Because you cannot be talking about this founders day and so on without reference to the degrading of, of, of first July, you know, because the degrading of first July really is an affront to our dignity and sovereignty. But why so? Oh, our final independence, mm -hmm. the point where our sovereignty was properly and fully established, was July 1, 1960. That's when we became a republic. That's when we became a republic. So to downgrade that is to show gross disrespect for a fight for national sovereignty, for a fight for national independence, and actually to devalue a Republican. So, so Pizzi, for those who don't, those who perhaps don't appreciate this point that you're making, mm -hmm. <clears throat> we all know that we gained independence on 6 March 1957. Now, you're saying that the event of 1st July 1960 mm -hmm. is what really finished the deal about independence for us. Yeah. So what was happening between 57 and 1960? Between 1957 and 1960, the Queen of England, mm -hmm. you know, was still the head of state of Ghana. Mm -hmm. was still the head of state of Ghana. Mm -hmm. And like, like today, in Canada, mm -hmm. the king of England is still the head of state. So the sovereignty is not fully established. What happened in, in 1957, since March 1957, was that we gained some partial independence which enabled us mm -hmm. to take control of, of our administrative governance machinery. That's all. In fact, the process started from 1951. In 1951, Kwame Nkrumah became leader of government business. Mm -hmm. But in 1951, for example, we had no control over our ministries of finance, defense, and foreign affairs. Those portfolios were reserved for the colonial administration. Mm -hmm. Okay. In 1951, we still had a colonial governor who was stationed in the Christian Borg castles, who was virtually the head of state. In 1957, we went a step further. Nkrumah became prime minister, you know, of the republic, and uh, we're responsible, we, we, we had a lot more responsibility in terms of running the governance structure of the country and so on. It was on 1st July 1960 that we fully became a republic and could have a precedent mm, and all the things that come, you know, with the republican status. So, July 1, 1960, is an essential part of the movement towards full independence. That's when we gain our full. So, so when, when did we start singing? Even the exact day, okay. you know, but that was during the, the, the colonial era, mm -hmm. when, when the Queen actually, when the British colonialists firmly established their, their domination over our politics, over our economics, and and and. Virtually, you know, they were in charge, mm. you know. But 1951 is important. Mm. 1957 is important. Mm. And 1960 mm. is most important. Mm. I mean, you cannot claim that you actually support independence for the country. You cannot claim that you value an independence if you downgrade July 1st, 1960. You have this interesting view. Um, and th that view is that you find the issue of the different republics as, um, for want of a milder expression, as rubbish. And that you think that there's one and only one republic, That's irrespective true. of the overthrow of uh, constitutions and all that. But you believe that there is only one. You only become a republic once, and that's the end of the matter. Right, Your coup d'etats don't send you back into no, a that, colonial rule. That's absolutely true. We gained our republican status on 1st July 1960, and that status has never changed. Mm -hmm. Even under military regime, we were still a republic. Mm -hmm. So we have only one republic. All these things about second republic and so on was also part of the attempt to devalue the Republican status we obtained on 1st July 1960. Otherwise, we've had only one republic. It has never changed. You know, everyone, Kutuka and others, 
with the support of the Central Intelligence Agency of the, of the United States of America, seized power in 1960. Ghana did not cease to become a republic. Mm. Ghana did not cease to become a republic when, under some circumstances, you know, Buzia was elected as prime minister. It did not cease to be a republic when General Champon took over. Ghana has been a republic from 1st July 1960, and that status has never changed. We have only one republic. Mm. We don't have a fourth republic. We don't have a third republic. Mm. It's all just... So, so the point you make is that even when the constitution is overthrown, I'm trying to understand you, even the constitution is overthrown by Kudita, and we don't lose our republican status because incidentally, the leaders of the coup themselves are called the head of state of the Republic of Ghana. Is That's that, the title. Exactly. Okay. So that if in restoring democracy, we even have a new constitution, it could still be the 1960 constitution. It could still be the 79 constitution. It could still be the 92 constitution. But that must not lead to a new republic. Our republican status, which we gained in 1960, is reflected in all the constitutions we have adopted. Mm -hmm. All of them. Mm -hmm. None of them attempts to take away the republican status. Mm -hmm. No cool regime has devalued our republican status. We've been a republic from 1960. We have remained a republic up to today. Mm. In fact, the coup cool leaders themselves assume the position of head of state. Of, of the president. Republic of Ghana. Exactly. Mm. You cannot be, you know, a head of state. You cannot be, you know, president of, of, of a country if indeed we are still under colonial subjugation. So it is clear, as far as I'm concerned, it is clear we had only one republic, and that one republic has never changed. First Fair. July 1960. First July 1960. Okay. Okay. All right. It is a castle. Omeño hiamai. Nenam amemua enkoye tino. Ekomde. The country where I come from, the truth is an irony. Just like animal farm, justice mean inequity. So who go say the truth? Who go say the truth? Christian cancer, silence. Islamic leaders, silence. Kings and queens, silence. Traditional leaders, silence. Oh. Who go say the truth? We are the workers of comfort. We call now by area one in Obera. We are the workers of comfort. We call one guy's area one in Obera. Who go say the truth? Who go say the truth? Oh, you need to know who was a sister. Now your friend on a night and come at them. Only Papi or Becca Nas and Bia. So I'm to one poor or better to everybody was afraid. And until I'm not to my cottage at the night. Once my boy don't be one and ninety. But who go tell the truth? Nanai, or say a man, Nansopian person, they can't want some because everybody is afraid. Anya Safwe, Moaini, Aku Kudro, Fonina, Dalima, and who go say the truth? Obia, Dra, Consul, Consul, so to close your man, Satu, and maybe a Kako Brafo. If we're in a yet, if we're in a yet, now so could threat a down a so be dear back or why no cake. I feel a for the man who won't be a for a for a new cross on my moon. And yes, a way more in it. I could go draw for you now, darling. And who go say the truth? Abba ya di bo te chino Ya di bi be bo nyan de bi Ta chi sa wo di o ma wo pipi numa Wo di o ma ni ve shan na fra fon sa 
back. Who got tell the truth? Do you see silence? Even journalists silence. So oh, then who go say the truth? Right is right, wrong is wrong. No matter how you justify. You say you wanna get rid of corruption. Someone want to help you. Now the person become your target. Jobless, no, they mean senseless. Poverty, no, they mean useless. One day, then go resist. Man, ever I say, my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV, dear. I see them. You po. Ah, they be come. I mean, not pen dream TV. I say. Now, so far so good. Say open online portal. Let what Ghana. Ah, you pa share. You pa follow. You pa comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I pen dream TV.